here you see is a AGI Ball Research Center. One of our core mission is to really understand the fundamental science behind uh, embodied AI that can uh, sense, reason, act in the physical world. And towards that, we have different types of robots uh, with uh, different morphologies. For the full-size humanoid robot A2, uh, it's providing intelligent interaction experiences with humans. Uh, there's also motion intelligence, uh, as you see in the X2, uh, it, it can do all sorts of very difficult robotic maneuvers that's somewhat actually very hard for humans to do. We also have our G-series robots that's actually been deployed at the industrial manufacturing sites to help with uh, productivity of the plant. So I would personally hope there will be one uh, unified solution to all different robot types. The field is moving towards that direction so that uh, eventually we could actually uh, integrate them uh, into one framework. AGI Bottle Research is a core R&D engine here of the company. We are really focused on the science of AI and robotics. That means building core models, critical data set, and the smart methods. Our work supports the company's broad mission, created unlimited productivity via intelligent machines. AGI Bot World is the largest robot data dataset to date, with over 200 tasks across different settings like home, retail, office, industry settings. So first we need to use different objects, we need different environments to diversify the data. So we are not only collecting data in a small lab, we're collecting real world tasks and with each trajectory being human verified for its reliability. Go1 is one of our major breakthroughs it uses what we call the Vela architecture, which is vision, language, and latent action that can match human and robot actions. So right now we are conducting what we call a post-training part of the VLA models, which focuses on real-time continual learning. So the robots does not just remember what it used to be taught in the data, but it's actively learning new knowledge from its real interaction with the physical world that includes a lot of failure data. And that's what makes the robot learn how to avoid failure and move to a better success rate. Based on our practical experience, we see two critical limitations in uh, current uh, VLAS. First, generalization gaps. Current models perform well on training tasks, but do badly with new environments or new objects. They learn pattern matching instead of transferable physical understanding. Second, inability to handle long sequence tasks. Current models are myopic, predicting only the next step action without global planning. By addressing this with a big brain, small brain architecture, the big brain handles complex reasoning and the task composition, while the small brain uh, executes precise actions. We are also building a comprehensive benchmark that covers things in room, industry, restaurant, and office. Robot works in real world and uh, it should interact with multiple objects, especially for the manipulation tasks. So we released uh, Genie Envisioner. It's a unified world model platform and we model the uh, embodied world with uh, multi-view video generation. And a lot of robots has a three view setup for one head view and uh, two hand views, especially for humanoid and bimanual robots. So we modeling the uh, environment with such setup. Our model can generate the future frames with a task description and the uh, observation memory, and it can generate uh, consistent uh, uh, frames across three views. And we open source our code for Gini Visioner, including the training code, inference code, a detailed technical report, and the instruction for how to deploy our model to the real world. Opening source is incredibly important, not just for us, but for the entire field. It allows researchers everywhere can easily reproduce results and build on our work. By opening source our data and code, we help raise the level of embodied intelligence worldwide. Another part of the work we do is deploying a large amount of fleet in the real world. We have robots autonomous collecting their experiences. We're using that heterogeneous experiences to 
further improve the brain. For example, some of my colleagues, they're applying reinforced learning into the industrial manufacturing side. The problem of the industrial robot is that it's not intelligent enough. It is moving from one uh, pre-programmed position to another and it utilizes some uh, object post-estimation method to do the task. So what is different in the uh, uh, reinforcement learning is that we can let a person use some teleoperation device to help the robot correct its mistake. And then we can fine tune it in the new scenario within even several minutes. And then within 30 minutes, it can accomplish the task in 100% success rate. We are currently in one of the convenience stores set up by AJ Bot. The robot here needs to handle highly diverse range of tasks, recognizing thousands of items and dealing with unexpected situations, and continuously improving their own performance. We also developed a general robot model to perform effective post-training with a large amount of data generated by the robots themselves. We also have developing advanced robotic manipulation capabilities for robots actually to behave like human hand and do the daily household uh, task we do every day. So the dexterous hand is also a type of end effector, uh, but has many more degrees of freedom than the parallel gripper, which can provide more kinematic redundancy. And such a redundancy can enable robots to perform tasks that requires a higher dexterity and also can help a robot to accomplish the task more robustly and efficiently. Uh, Here is our collaboration area where people work closely with each other. Let's take a look. So as a young researcher, I think the biggest takeaway for me is I've learned how to transform my theory into uh, scalable and impactful solutions. So at AGI Bot, I feel like I'm actually pushing the boundaries of the embodied intelligence and explore how the robots to observe, act, and learn in the real world. I think that's just very exciting for me. Looking ahead, we aim to make embodied intelligence as common as the digital AI like uh, ChatGPT, so the robot can help us at home in factories and in cities, making daily life easier. Fundamentally, our vision is actually to using embodied AI to help humanity to transfer the world for a better world.